Hello, my name is Emil and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna look at the Kemper I just bought. Um, I bought it to uh, play around with and to uh, uh, clone my uh, existing amplifiers. I thought that was a cool idea and to see what, uh, what the hype was all about. I'm pretty late uh, jumping on the train here with the camper and, and all that but uh, anyway so um, um, in the studio uh, it has been great it sound, sounds cool I have yet to try it in a live situation I'm gonna try it at uh, a rehearsal pretty soon uh, but I'm not gonna go out and buy like a MIDI uh, pedal or the controller for like a lot of money just to see if it if it works or not um, I'm not planning on using the Kemper, uh, like playing live. I, I do like my amps for that. We'll, we'll see in the future, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm gonna build something uh, fairly simple, and um, I mean, hopefully you guys think so also. Um, so let's look at the camper and see what what we're about to do. Okay, so there it is, and I need something to control it with. And the um, obvious way is to buy a camper um, remote, which you plug in here the the via the network cable. Uh, you can also go the MIDI route and. Um, buy something like uh, like really cheap like the Behringer MIDI controller but I mean if if you've seen my previous videos you know I'm um, all about building stuff so I mean um, I have a very quick and easy um, solution to this so I can at least do uh, like one patch with like five or six uh, sounds I think that's enough that's what I use today so that's what I'm gonna gonna do so um, I don't know if you've seen my uh, previous video about the wireless pedal board uh, if not you can uh, have a look down in the description and uh, click that link uh, I'm gonna use the transmitter uh, from from that video uh, it just sends out like a generic uh, code uh, via radio, like 433 megahertz. So I'm gonna build a simple receiver, uh, which is gonna then gonna code that signal and send out a MIDI program change. So fairly simple. All I need is a Arduino and a radio receiver. Uh, two resistors, power connection, and a battery of some sort. I don't know if I'm gonna go. These are uh, both lithium, like around four volts. That will do the job. Um, MIDI works with five volts, but that should be fine. It worked perfectly with my last project. Okay, so the way I'm gonna hook this up is just uh, three wires uh, from my Arduino. Uh, ground to pin 2 on the MIDI connector and plus voltage through a 220 ohm resistor to pin 4 and my signal wire um, in this case the one I'll see in the code which one I'm going to use but uh, through a also a 220 ohm resistor to pin 5 so using only three uh, pins on the MIDI connector and that should be it on the MIDI side and then um, hook it up to the camper and set it up so when I send program change one it'll go to the first patch basically and then uh, two three and then on so uh, it worked great for my flashback MIDI controlled flashback delay and I don't see why it shouldn't work with the camper also Okay, this is how the code works. So I'm using virtual wire and a MIDI program here. So on pin four, that's my receive. That's the pin when I connect my trans, uh, my receiver. And then uh, let's see here. If I receive um, a radio signal, 
uh, that uh, says B1, then it's going to send out a MIDI program change zero. So I, I believe the Kemper starts at zero. So uh, that's the first. And then uh, if it receives a C1, it will send out one and then D2, three, and then on. I can send, I have six uh, commands um, so far. That's because my uh, transmitter has six buttons. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's wire it up. Okay, this is as pretty as it's gonna get. So it's only function. So plus and minus and signal is little antenna and yeah, it should work. And um, here's your uh, other end of the MIDI cable. Just plug that in and uh, stick it, stick it inside of there, and should be good to go. Oh, I need to add um, need to add a connector for the battery. Almost forgot. Okay, let's do that. Okay, everything is hooked up, and my um, little programming board there is hooked up to the Arduino, and um, I added the power power cable. So everything that needs to be hooked up is hooked up. So let's go ahead and click upload and compiling uploading and we're done okay let's try it when your mind is in decay you will always go the extra mile to find a place to hide Okay, here we are back. Uh, we're gonna test the wireless MIDI adapter that I made uh, from an Arduino and a receiver and a ugly plastic box. And a MIDI cable, of course. So I have everything hooked up. Uh, I'm just about to connect the battery. Um, we'll see if it blows up. Well, no, nothing is gonna blow up, so that's that's fine. I have the, uh, the wireless foot switch that I made uh, for the um, wireless pedal board video. As you can see, this is fully wireless. It has uh, lithium batteries rechargeable in it, so um, it, it, they should last a long time too. So I'm just gonna put that on top of there. And the idea here now is uh, when I press the first button, then I've made a uh, performance uh, layout here, so it will change tones. So I have in the first uh, preset, I have like a crunch sound, and then in the second I have the distorted, and a lead on the third place, and then a clean, and then a crunch with some chorus on. So it, 
basically the same layout uh, as I usually have when I play. So um, without further ado, let's let's test it. Um, first things first. Uh, connect the battery. I know this looks a bit uh, sketchy, but whatever. It's just gonna it's gonna sit in the back, you know, in the back uh, cavity of the the camper. So no one is ever gonna see this anyway. And uh, I thought this was a better idea since I don't want to pay for a very expensive MIDI camper controller when this does the same thing and it. It was just built with stuff I had laying around. So I mean, if you were to buy this stuff, I mean, it's tops eight or ten dollars. So it's really, it's a cheap um, DIY thing. So let's connect the battery and, uh, and test it. Okay. Okay, so this is the first um, preset. This would be my crunch. And see what happens if I press the second. It jumped to my second um, preset. And uh, there will be like a more distorted kind of uh, rhythm sound. So the idea worked. Well, I, I knew it's going to work. This was actually the first time, but I'm fairly confident. Uh, I've done this before and um, it just works like a charm. Um, remember, if, you, if you're programming uh, something like this or if you, have a, if you have a MIDI channel, the camper starts at MIDI program change zero. So that will be my first preset. So I, I, I just sent it a zero, and for the second one, it's a one. So and the third, that's a two. So it's always one step behind. So keep that in mind. Um, third preset, my lead uh, sound. <laughs> isn't a play uh, playing video so uh, just to demonstrate the sounds um, for um, a clean sound from a TA 15 cool and uh, Lastly, a crunch with some chorus on it. And just a fast... So it changes patch uh, without any click or noises or anything. So I'm very happy with that, and everything worked. And it it looks like it looks like a cheap home built kind of stuff, but that's exactly what it is. Uh, I made it in under an hour uh, for basically nothing, and now I can control my camper with it. And um, I mean, of course. I only have six presets right now, that's basically what I use. If I want to have more in the future, I'll just add an option to switch like banks. And that's it. I can have how many I, I like. So thanks for watching and um, please let me know if you, uh, you want to ask me something about this build or if you want to build something like this yourself and I can, can help you out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Thank you. Bye.